With Naraka being free on Xbox with Xbox Game Pass and it being 30% off on Steam, we getting a lot of new players in the video game. So I figure I might as well make a video talking about the heroes, their roles, and how they kind of coexist in this world together and give you guys the things that you really need to know about the heroes. Now, let me go ahead and say this as a quick disclaimer. I am not breaking down every individual hero and their abilities. You guys, if you want that, let me know down in the comment section below. I can potentially go through every single hero and give you guys an in-depth breakdown of their abilities how to unlock them all those good things all right so first and foremost you have viper now with viper she's going to be more of your zoning character so if you guys don't know that's more of one of those characters that's kind of like they're going to do more damage and, and things like that from a distance they're not really meant to be up close and personal to people and with the way all her abilities work she's definitely a character that's going to kind of play more of that mid to long range game now again all these characters you can play whichever style you want i'm just letting you guys know what's going to best fit those heroes and how you're really supposed to go about using them so just know with viper the way all of her abilities work she's a very team friendly character who's more of a zoner so just keep that in mind when you're using her there's nothing wrong with her she's actually a top tier character in my opinion and I think she's fire as hell. Moving on, we have Tumult. Tumult is more of a zoner as well with his abilities. Now, it's with him and Viper, they're zoners, but they're also kind of CC. And if you guys don't know, CC, crowd control, you know what I mean? So think of them like that. Like these two characters are gonna be very team friendly. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the hugest fan of Tumult. Even though he is a zoner, he can be played really defensively as well. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I just, he's kind of like a well-rounded type of character. Like he can CC, he's a zoner, and he can do a little bit of defense. So if you were looking for somebody that's kind of like well-rounded, go ahead and go with Tumult. His abilities are pretty good. I don't use him all that often, but his abilities are really good and you're gonna get the most out of him when you use him in team play. Next up is Matari. Now with her, she is a solo god, bro. Like I'm telling y'all, she can get away with a lot just because the fact that she is uh, a character that can go invisible. Now with her, I would say she's more up close and impersonal. I don't think she's a zoner whatsoever and she's not really a crowd control type of character so she's more of the combat uh she's team friendly as well if you can just play her and unlock the rest of her abilities her invisibility actually helps with giving teammates health or a tag boost for a short period of time she does a lot for the team if you just unlock those things but she's more of an attack hero and that's how you should really be playing her as a little bit more aggressively and to an extent somewhat sneaky so she's a good character to be aggressive with if you want to play around turning invisible and, and sneaking up and, and doing the most damage possible in a short period of time before you're spotted so that's how i would say i would describe matari next up we got tarka now this is a, a full-out aggressive hero if you if you're looking for somebody to be gun ho aggressive with this is the man you need to be using don't use nobody else if you just want to completely destroy your opponent with damage only like he has counter abilities yes but he's he's more of the gun hold type of guy i mean again i wouldn't say just blindly running in there and fighting but the way his abilities work he has counters that benefit him and he has some abilities that help his teammates too but he's he's your attacking hero and, and that's what he's gonna do he gets in there gets the job done and he dishes out a lot of damage now next up you got karami she is just straight out y'all there's no other way around it she's the healer she's the healer of the game she does all the healing she does the res. she can res quicker than everybody else she can give you guys back health and shield like she she does a lot i i don't use her whatsoever should i probably if i was in there with my friends a little bit more often but since i'm probably going to be playing this by myself more often than not i don't see me using her just right now but that does not take away from the fact that she's still a good character in the game that's just her role she's just the healer then next up you got tian high now with him he is a defensive type of character his shield his bell really is what it is his bell is gonna negate any type of attacks coming toward him that's from a melee weapon or a ranged weapon so you know what i mean he's gonna knock those back 
he can make a person lose their weapon if you have all of his bells unlocked and then obviously he turns into the giant that you guys have been seeing in the game and that does a, a variety of things but it's also kind of limited like it's it's one of the things you want to stay away from because obviously if it gets his hands on you then it's gonna do some serious damage but you know it, it really is kind of like one of those oh shit abilities like i'm in trouble i need a little extra health i need people to kind of get away so that's what you use it for but he's more of a defensive character that's what he's gonna be viewed as as like the heavy tank now with Yotaheim, she's all guns blazing full out attacker there's literally no other words to describe her she got that big ass demonic sword that she uses that it used to be better they definitely nerfed her which thank god naraka that you did that because she was busted but even with them doing that she's still a very good character i wouldn't say she's top tier anymore though but she's still a good character and she's somebody else just like tarka who's gonna get out there and your main objective and your main focus for the team should just be to do damage so solo god as well if you want to use her for solos that's definitely going to be good because that's probably where she's going to thrive and she can still thrive in the team setting it's just her role is to dish out damage now with valda valda i don't know how to pronounce it but with her now she's a crowd control character i don't want to completely say a zoner she's definitely more focused on ccing and with all of her abilities where you can stun people with her little bubbles you can use her ultimate to to grab people even it doesn't matter you can grab two people three people i think i've even seen her grab four at one point i think it it maxes out around three to four but that's great crowd control and you can still dish out damage while they're up there or if you want you can just have them have her crowd control for you with having them stuck inside of her ultimate and allowing for your team to heal so she's definitely a crowd control character she's really good really annoying to fight against and if you can really get an understanding of all of her abilities and how to use them because it's very timing based then you will be one of the more advanced and and top tier players in the game because her crowd control is really good to get out there save her life save your teammates life and like i said just because she's crowd control does not mean that she cannot dish out damage so she's all around a pretty good character next is yushan I, I don't know how to pronounce his either i apologize naraka i am butchering your character's names and i truly apologize this is also another attacking type of character in the game his abilities he has a a stun he has a counter and then he also turns into a giant not as big as tien highs but he has a giant that gets out there and does right, serious okay. damage to people if you can get the hits off really there is no other explanation like the attackers are just that y'all their abilities are really mapped out well to help them have the upper hand against other characters who don't really want to be in a close combat type of situation so if you're looking for characters that are really going to be up in people's face up in personal and doing high damage this is another character that you are going to want to use and having your rotation now Wu Chen. Wu Jin is, is kind of also an all-round type of character because he has good zoning abilities. He, he's definitely a zoner, a strong zoner at that. The fact that he can teleport um, his, his knives, if you use them, if you, un well, if you unlock all of his knives, he has some where he can evade people just from the activation of his knives you can use them to zone and keep people back he even has one on his his last little knife ability that you unlock where he can pretty much put up a shield that'll protect you from projectiles flying in uh that one is very situational it depends on you know if people are really going to be out there using those uh, uh weapons but it's still good if that is the case and if you don't want to use that he still has the other two options which are very zony 
and then again like i said his ultimate allows him to teleport allows his teammates to teleport and then one of them he can even switch positions with his enemies so he's a very good zoner but even with that being said he can still get in close and personal with people because of those zone abilities and like i said if you're in danger you can activate your tactical which activates as a dodge essentially it's a free freebie dodge and then you get to get right back into zoning so he's he's pretty good all around if you ask me next up we got justina she's one of the newer characters in the game and if i'm being honest i would say justina is more of a zoner as well uh, i wouldn't completely say crowd control but she's more of like the zoner slash attack with the way her abilities work she's very well you could even mix in there and say that she's potentially defensive because the way her abilities work she can turn herself into ice she can turn her teammates into ice to protect them but even with her ultimate it's a good way for her to get in and get out of trouble like i explained to you guys in one of my last videos where just if we're being honest she's a really good character to use for zoning but also close combat so justina i think is a very solid character and if you get to understand her ultimate because her tactical is pretty simple if you get to understand that ultimate you'll be pretty annoying and unstoppable and then last but not least we got my favorite hero which is takeda and him i'm gonna be real the way i see him he's more of an attack hungry type of character too now he also has counters and things like that that he can use to disarm his uh enemies or protect himself and that but if we're being honest the way his ultimate works it dishes out pretty high damage and not only does it do that you can combo it really well with the combos that already exist in all the weapons so if you can get it down pack he's gonna dish out a lot and i do mean a lot of damage and not only that he's gonna resupply himself with heals if you can get those ultimates off to actually make contact with people and if you can hit people with your counters and stuff like that so he's all around he's a very good attacking character who has pretty good defenses and healing ability so you guys have it those are all 12 the current heroes that we have and we have to wait for naraka to do more heroes and stuff like that but like i said if you guys want a more in-depth breakdown of all the heroes and their abilities and how they work just let me know down in the comment section below. I tried to do my best to make this quick and easy so you guys could just kind of understand the roles and how these heroes are played and stuff like that in this video. So thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed, like I said, please be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more. And with all that, I look forward to catching y'all in the next one. Yeah, you don't even know my name. You don't understand my pain. They tryna get him a job, nigga. They got me moving a lot quicker. Yeah, I don't ever wanna change. Ain't no sense for me to stay the same. I got my hand on the glide, nigga. She got a hand on my cot. Wait, look, damn it, nigga, that's real. Oh God, I got kids. I got no love in my heart. Yeah, I'm serious. Money problem, keep them toting that on. Say I'm fine, but you know I'm lying. Suffering in silence, cause don't no one give a fuck, really. I'm tired of playing in games. Only influenced by pain, but I influence the same. Dog, it's a shame.